my god, it has been raining non-stop in Brookhaven. And it has been super cold. I'm shivering. Oh, I need to warm up every inch of my body. It's really cold. You know what? I'm gonna go see if Rosie is free so we can hang out. Uh, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Found it. Let's call up Rosie. Hopefully she answers. I mean, she should. It's still like 6 p.m. It's not that late. Dee, dee, dee. Now let's ring her up. Hey, it's Rosie. I'm really busy right now. Really? It went into voicemail? Uh, I shouldn't annoy her. Maybe she's studying for that biology exam. Uh, what can I do in the meantime? Maybe the rain has stopped. Let's go and check. Ah, I should go back inside. Oh my god. That was so silly of me. Now I am drenched. <gasps> Wait, I know what to do. The computer is free. You guys, you must be thinking what I am thinking. Let's go check out block stories to see if there's any more interesting or creepy stories like before. Let's go. Let's go search it at blogstories.com. For those who don't know what that is, it's pretty much a creepy Roblox website where people put their real life stories and I get to read them and enjoy. And sometimes they can be super, super dark and spooky. Oh my god, a new story published by a girl called Arya. Let's go and read this. How my creepy stalker kidnapped me. Yo, that sounds so crazy. Let's go ahead and click on it and continue reading my name is aria and today i will be telling you guys my creepy encounter with a creepy stalker now sit back and continue reading because this story is not like your typical stories this story is a very creepy and wild one it all started one morning when i was at school the school bell rang and it was home time and i was super excited because it was my best friend's birthday party <gasps> Oh my god and that is when i accidentally ran into the new student oh my god i am so sorry i should have been looking where i was going uh miss i can explain myself i i i wasn't looking and then ouch area that's not how you welcome a new student i deeply apologize i i should have put my phone down it's all my fault hey hey it's all good don't panic. Okay, thank goodness. Are you okay? Are you fine? I mean, you look pretty fine to me. Now that I'm looking at it, are you the new student? Because I haven't seen you around this town. I'm okay. Are you fine? Uh, e yeah, I'm fine. Guys, I can't lie, but that new student really made my breath go away. He was everything I've ever wanted in a guy. Tall, muscular, brown fluffy hair, gray eyes and glasses. Aria, how about you show him around the school since he is new here? His puffer jacket, his leather pants, his polished shoes. Hello? Are you there? Aria! <gasps> oh, uh, miss, yes, I'm here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I totally did not get distracted. By the way, I'm Jack, Jack Clayton. Oh, hey, Jack. My name is Aria. Uh, let me show you around, I guess. Sure. Okay, then. If you need help with anything, just tell me. Yeah, I will tell you, of course. Ah, oh, it's so dreamy. Oh, and it's home time. I have kids to look after. Yeah, home time. Don't worry. I am sure Arya knows everything. Oh, yeah. I definitely know everything. Bye, miss. Oh, uh, Jack, uh, uh I, yeah, I need to go and show you around the school, don't I? Okay, well then, follow me this way. So, these are the bathrooms. And guys, I didn't realize how quickly time went. I spent the next few hours telling him and showing him around school and I really never had that much fun with anyone in my whole entire life. Oh, and Jack, this is our school cleaner. It's super mysterious and no one really knows anything about him. All we know is that he comes at 5 p.m. to clean the school toilets and that's about it. And guys, this is when I really knew Jack was the perfect guy for me. Hey, um, do you need any help? He was super caring and I could just stare and look at him for the whole entire day. I can mop for you. You can go and have rest. Oh my god, he is so nice. Thank, uh, thank you. No one has ever done that for me. And for the next one hour, all Jack did was just clean the cafeteria. And I had never seen the cleaner this happy. He finally was able to rest and eat. All because of the new student. Oh, that's so cute. I'm so happy for Arya. She finally found the love of her life. Jack actually looks like a sweetheart. We spoke for hours and hours and hours until it was finally home time. Oh, and there must be one thing he did 
didn't yet know about me. My dad is the owner of the Brookhaven Bank. So yeah, I guess you can say I am super rich, but I never tell people my status and wealth because I have been used a lot in the past. That's why I dress very casual. No one would ever guess and doubt that I come from a billion dollar family. Well, at least I hope so. I knew Jack was the perfect one and I knew he would never ever use me for money. Aria. Want me to drop you off home? Uh, my dad is here. And that is when Jack turned around and he finally realized that I am super rich. Hi, dad. Anyways, see you tomorrow, Jack. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is really wow. It's not every day you see a student get picked up by a helicopter. You really don't look that rich at all. <laughs> I guess so. And Jack's reaction was super normal to me because even my friends reacted the same way. I guess I will catch you later. He came super close to me. Take care, Arya. And that's when he gave me a hug. And for once, I actually felt accepted. I actually felt like a normal girl before and not a girl that would get used for their money. All right, bye, Jack. A little did I know that Jack was not your typical nice guy. Once I finally arrived home to my billion dollar mansion, I decided to tell dad everything. My dad was super happy that I finally found the love of my life. Oh, so I thought. Later that day, Jack also went to his house and his house wasn't as big and as great as mine. That wasn't what I was thinking. That was what Jack was thinking. If only I got picked up in a helicopter too. Wouldn't life be perfect? Ugh. This is not fair. I don't even have rice to make anything. Life isn't fair for me. Oh, and a broke TV. Great, as if things couldn't get any worse. What can I do so life becomes perfect for me? I cannot live like this. I know what I can do. When I was in my room just watching a bit of Netflix, I got a notification. And when I clicked on it, I really couldn't believe my eyes. A message from my friend Lisa. And it read, Hey Arya, I recently saw you hanging out with Jack. And I just want to look out for you. But I don't think Jack is a good guy. I've seen him be with plenty of girls before. And it never has ended well. You should be very careful. This made me super mad. For once when I finally started to feel accepted i get messages from my friends telling me that no this is not the case i mean he was a perfect guy he helped cleaners he was perfect for my dad what could possibly be wrong i decided to prove all of them wrong by meeting up with him again but boy was i so wrong but boy was i wrong and while i was running hoping i would find the love of my life he was inside his house thinking of a plan hmm this plan is great. I will first be with her, and then I will become rich like her. And while I was trying to find Jack's house, my tummy started to rumble, and that's when I realized I hadn't eaten since morning. But that was okay, because the cafe was right in front of me. And when I went upstairs, I could not believe who I saw. It was Jack sitting with the nerdest and quietest and most nicest person in our school, Tom Little. Oh my god, Tom Little? Tom Little is my friend! Yo, Tom Little, you better not disappoint me. You better save Arya's life. Tom Little. You need to help me with this plan. Uh, Jack, I, um, I don't think that's a good idea. Please, uh, don't do that. I was super excited to see Jack. I took a step forward, hoping that I can reach out and give him a hug. But that's when I realized I heard something that I don't think I should have heard. Tom Little, you need to help me or I will never talk to you ever again. It seemed like Jack was in so much distress and he was screaming and yelling at Tom Little. I had never seen Jack act like this. She needs to trust me so I can be with her and become rich. I could not believe what I was hearing. Um, no, please don't get me involved. Um, I'll tell her all about it or get the police involved. What police? You little nerd. Don't you dare tell her about it. You will ruin my life. Uh, oh my god, what, what do I do? I will break your glasses. And that look that Tom Little gave me was a look of concern. You need to save yourself, Aria, please. I could not believe what I was looking at. My life was all a lie. Oh. Uh, Aria, that was a, um, role play. I had never been this angry in my whole entire life before. Aria, please trust me. Stay away from me! I ran out of that cafe so quickly, I bolted. I could feel the tears flood my eyes. I never, ever wanted to see that gross, disgusting boy ever again. <gasps> no way! How could he? Jack, why would you betray her? Ugh, I already hate Jack. Why would he do that? And while I slept through the pain, Jack had other plans. I knew Jack was bad, but I didn't know that he would be this bad. Life really isn't fair at all. Well, if she has 
doesn't want me, I will take matters into my own hands. I guess it's time for me to change my appearance. She should not notice who's hiding behind this black hoodie. That night, while my tears dried up, Jack had a different plan. He decided that if he couldn't get it, he would steal it. He called for a van. I don't know how they knew where I lived. That's why you should never trust anyone that you meet. I knew immediately something was up when I heard a big loud tud i jumped up in fright thinking that it must have been a stray cat as it always happens to be but boy would i wish it was a stray cat who's there who's this dad dad what do you guys want oh are you baby did you miss me i could not believe that voice it was jack stay away jack dad and before i knew it i was kidnapped dad <gasps> no 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 why did you get kidnapped no no oh no this is why you shouldn't trust people as much as i screamed my voice just trailed off no one could hear me and that's when i noticed that i had been kidnapped help me Jerk, I'm gonna get you for this. I screamed on the top of my lungs and begged, but no, he had no mercy. Arya, how will you even get out? They cornered me and held out their guns, and I truly believed I was going to die in that single moment. You should have just pretended not to have heard our conversation. But I realized they didn't want me dead, nor did he want me to be his girlfriend. He just wanted my dad to come and give them a big, large sum of money to let me go. I'm not gonna tell you my dad's number leave we will come back in five minutes you better say it then we will finally be rich <laughs> oh, let me go in that moment i truly hated myself this was all my fault my dad was correct to never trust anyone that night tom little saved my life that night was a night where we finally found out what tom little had been carrying in that big backpack of his in his backpack he might carry homework and papers but he also carries a hammer screwdrivers anything he could possibly think of mm, Tom, dad. Mm. my dear child he even had a tool to remove my mask and handcuffs tom dad oh my god i missed you guys wait how'd you guys know i was here well actually it's a long story that night when i got out of the breakfast club i was really panicking i was like i need to save aria but how? So, I got my notepad out and started to write some ideas. The first idea was to tell your dad, which is what I did. So then, I quickly ran to your house to inform your father. I told him all about Jack's evil plans for you, Arya. And your dad was really shocked and angry. So, we got on a helicopter to come and rescue you. Oh my god, Tom Little, you are a lifesaver. We better get going now, let's go. And this is a story of how I got kidnapped by my secret lover and how Tom Little saved my life. But the only thing is, the story doesn't end there. <gasps> what? What do you mean the story doesn't end there? There's more? You are telling me Jack comes back again? Oh no. I really need to know what happens next.